I invite you to a world where there is no such thing as time And every creature lends themselves to change your state of mind As a matter of fact, if I restart from the last checkpoint, is it going to show me the cutscene? Hopefully, it will show me the intro. It's not going to. That's a shame, because the intro is actually really weird. Alright, what's going on here? God, you're a hideous fellow, aren't you? Where bloomers? Yeah, you, where you going? Where your bloomers? Is that where you going to? Is where your God, you're a hideous fellow. Oof, the world has not been not been kind to you. Oh dear. All right. Now, excuse me if this is going to be a rather long let's play. I like having the I like having to wander about. My stories to the children bear strange fruits. Their drawings expose pieces of my mind. Oh yeah. What a joyful place this is. Who's wrong there? Can't find the door. Okay. Boys room. I can't go in there. I'm supposed to be going in there. Do something, anything. What? Okay. I deserve my bitter tears. Want some? You look like, um... That girl from Recess. Can't think of a name. Disney show, Recess. You look like her. Alright, let's move on. Home, safe home. Safe home? Really ugly people. Alright. The Illustrated News feeds an insatiable appetite for domestic mayhem and industrial disaster. Fire at March, factory, six girls missing. Is there anything more predictable? The world's gone quite mad. Okay. Pictures? Alright. Ten years in the loom bin. No, ma, no relation. She's an orphan. Oh, wow. You guys have numbers on your... You have numbers around your neck. Well, that's different. <laughs> I wonder what the original Disney uh, people who made Alice in Wonderland think of this game. Mr. Payne had no idea how humble a home could be. If not for my drawings and the photographs, this could pass for my room at the asylum. Yeah. Oh, I can play in first person mode? Oh, I'm all for that. This photograph of my family was delivered here by post, no message, no return address. I'm grateful for this memento, but I wish I could thank the sender. Cool. Alright, let's go. We need to go get some pills. From somewhere. Alright, let's go. Doctor's pet. Too good for the asylum. Man, too good for the asylum. Oh, is he? Is he too good, is he? What are you doing down here, eh? Oh. Oh. God, you're all so skinny. Emaciated. I'm gonna catch the ugly if I stay in here. Let's get another it, let's day, go. a different dream, perhaps. Good lord. Alright. Oh, okay, everybody's hideous. Alright, fair enough. Well, at least you kept your looks, Alice. That's pretty much it. It's pretty much all you've kept, but. Hey, hum. It's a big nose. Huh. Hello, puss. Puss, 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 puss. Don't be afraid. Okay, am I supposed to follow the cat? I assume so. Oh, that guy's. Oh, I'll teach him. Oh, beat sour. Him good. I, I bait him good. <laughs> Alright. Oh. 
Well, let's have a one thing or the other. Sounds like she's been murdered. <laughs> okay. Ooh, actually. Now, where has that cat gone? Now, nah, just checking if there was anything interesting. Dinosaur bones? Or dog bones or something bones. What? All living things die eventually, still a creature remains uh, always poignant. Okay. That's the skinny and then there's that. That's impressive. I don't know how you're still alive. Um Alright, let's go. Mark a real job. No change in nappies. Better than being a dog's body for orphan. You can make someone happy. Save the world. Ten minutes at a time. Excuse me, sir. You look like a discerning gent. Alright, fuck you then. You can't fucking afford it anyway. Yes. <laughs> Oh. Seems following furry creatures into dark holes has become a habit. I hope it's not a vice. Don't look too much into that, Alice. I know I'm trying not to. Alright. Well, that's new. My stars and garters, Alice Little. It's slumming again, are we? Oh. Nurse Witless. What luck. Twice in as many months. Out on your own? You look frazzled, dearie. You could kill someone well. with that nose. Not really. Come along home then and look at my pigeons. Pretty birds. Like you. I don't think Pretty so. Pretty birds. Our last visit cost me several pounds and got me nowhere. I might recall where your mangy rabbit got to. Rabbit? Still a mess. No surprise. Her kin roasted like chestnuts right before her eyes. Ten years in Rutledge Asylum wasted everyone's time. Dr. Bumby won't do better. Still hauling out her questions. The fire, her memory. I deserve consideration, don't I? Who found her her new clothes? Who got her a place at Bumby's? Where'd she be without me? On the streets, selling her backside. Likes my pigeons, though. She's doled out the odd pound or two. But what I know is worth more than that. Kept her secret, haven't I? Heard her say, all died on my account, I couldn't save you. I've told her my silence is for sale. Cheap. I'm a good sort, really. Not like her nanny, that uppity whore. Or that lawyer fellow Radcliffe took her stupid rabbit. Need money. Warned her I'd tell the coppers if she didn't make a donation to my upkeep. She yells and goes off her head. Says she can't remember her name, what I heard. Okay, so all in all, Alice is having a bad time with it. Alright, well. Alright, what's going on around here? The pigeons. Yeah, they're pretty cool. Oh. The graphic, like, I don't know, there's a weird, like, I don't know, this game looks very unique. A bit like when Borderlands, like the first Borderlands came out, it had like a very unique look, and this game is kind of going the same way. Nurse Witless, do you mean to harm me? To send me back to the asylum? I won't say no. I've a thirst you could photograph. Need a drink. <laughs> Your mouth on its weapon. Pretty bears, like you. Well, that escalated quickly. No wonder. It's only a dream.
Okay. Oi, oi, oi. Well, it looks pretty. Definitely looks pretty. Very upsetting journey, but I'm rid of Pris or whatever she's become. At least the place I've landed is somewhat familiar. About time, too, Alice. Blasted cat. Don't try to bully me. I'm very much on edge. Perfect. When you're not on edge, you're taking up too much space. You're no help at all. But you know I can be. I'll frighten myself. When necessary, thanks very much. I was hoping to escape from all that. Abandon that hope. A new law reigns in this wonderland, Alice. It's very rough justice all round. We're at risk here. You be on your guard. I think it's safe to say the Cheshire Cat has gone all punk rock, emo, and that's a cowbird. All right. Um, that's really pretty. Can I jump? Yeah. Oh, I think it was a bird with like a baby cow in its. I think. I don't know. It's probably a secret down there. Eh, I can't see anything. Anyway, we're not secret hunting. Ooh. to jump. Can I bounce on these? Nope. Alright. Oh wow, that's pretty. I wonder if there's a way I can get up there. Yeah. Oh, it's one of those ugly children. Very good. If you leap from that table again, Alice, I'll expire. You're two times too reckless, my girl. <laughs> two times too reckless, I like that. Very good. Alright. That's a new one. Whoop. Whoop. Yeah. There we go. Whoop. Amanita muscaria, Alice, is merely a stinky toadstool. A spongy consistency, but poisonous. Alright, I don't think I can crouch. No. I'm gonna need one of those mushroom things, I guess. Or that. That works too. Yeah. Alright. Let's go, shall we? Whoop! I've been down this road before. Good things in small packages? Though lacking a bathing costume, a plunge in that pool is in order. My god! I'm shrinking in this potion! Sh shall I disappear? Almost. But the upside is that while smaller, you can see things that are nearly invisible to your bigger self. Ah, I get it, quite. 
Forests for the trees, just the other way round. Short-sighted is more than a matter of perspective. Now there was another one around here somewhere. Yep. There we go. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Oh, it's a giant snail. It's like trying to. Don't eat me. Actually, wait, is there anything wrong, is anything wrong here I need to... Mm, no. Alright, let's go. Right. Wow, wait, what? Oh, it's like, um, it's like Super Mario 64. Oh, easy, steady, steady. There we go. Oh, dear. I was terrible at the Super Mario version of this. But turns out, I think I've got this one down. Excellent. Oh, that's a bit morbid. Well, not gonna hurt me, is it? Nope. It's a dead dinosaur thing. The Vorpal Blade is swift and keen, and always ready for service. I've not come back here looking for a fight. Really? That's a pity. One's certainly looking for you. That's a really big blade. Swiftest damage to a single target close range. Alright. Alright. Very good. Flight or fight implies a permanent choice. But flight often just means putting off the fight to another day. Choose your battles wisely, Alice. Oh, I get teeth things for killing these. I can, I can deal with that. Do I get something if I get like a certain amount of them? I can only assume. Oh, there you go. I got extra health, I guess. Whoop. Uh oh. Well, that's, uh... Alright, well, let's get rid of that. No, no. Ugly, gross, and evil in a single monstrosity. Well, I wasn't expecting, uh, I don't know what to call them. Baby mask mood men. 
Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll go with that. Can I fit in there? No. Alright. Oh, no memory. A flower's purpose is simple and immutable. Human purpose is fickle because it is a slave to memory. Memories must be strictly managed, Alice. Unproductive ones must be eliminated. I hear you. Present hold space bar. This could be a problem. I'm using a 360 controller. Ah, oh, okay. That's fine. Whoop. There we go. Ah, that's not a big deal. Yeah. I'll take that. Can only assume it's some kind of collectible. Who on earth are you? I don't know if anybody's seen Wind in the Willows, <laughs> and this is a really weird reference, but um, it looks like Mr. Toad if he was a, a cross-dresser. Ah, oh, it's you again, Alice. You may approach. Why would I do that? You want to eat me? Yes, well, you taught me manners, and I've lost my taste for mad women. Strictly a poor sign diet for me. Everything's better with bacon, don't you agree? Of course you do. Now, there are pig snouts scattered about. I heard a few behind the house. Go fetch them for me. But take care for the pests that block your way. Pepper them up if they do. They need spice. And you're just the dish, a girl, to season them for me. You'll find that grinder serviceable. Why not season your own pig parts? Matter of priorities. My alabaster skin needs protection from the disgusting creatures running amok amidst the environs. But one gets peckish. Look, all you have to do is listen for the oink, then shoot the snout. You may like the results. I certainly will. Alright, well, let's go ahead and do that. <laughs>